everybody, my name's Sophie. It's the second week of Advent. The word of the week this week is peace and this is extraordinary. So the word of the week this week is peace. And peace is something I think we find it really difficult to make time for in our daily lives. We're very busy people, um, there's always something on the go and so peace is something we don't make time for. But this week we think about how important peace is in that run up to Advent. And we're reminded that we need to make space for peace in our lives, make space for the quiet, make space for a little bit of reflection. Um, and so we call all of that to mind as maybe we find a little bit of peace in this moment as we make the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In this piece of scripture, we hear about John the Baptist, um, and he goes into the wilderness, and he spends time preparing for Jesus to come in. Um, and that's what John the Baptist did, really. He was sent forth ahead um, to prepare the way, to get it ready for when Jesus arrived. And so... This week, as we think about peace, really that's the example that we need to follow, okay? By making some peace in our hearts, by making some time, we prepare that space for Jesus when he arrives on Christmas day. We make a space in our hearts for him when he arrives, when he comes. And when Jesus came, he didn't come as other people expected him. Um, I think if I was expecting Jesus at that point in time, maybe I'd been expecting a king um, or someone really powerful and strong. Um, someone who could come and save us. And actually Jesus came as pretty much the opposite. He came as a tiny baby born in a stable. God chose to send Jesus into our world as a baby, not as someone really powerful or strong, um, as something small and peaceful. And so in this time of Advent, we think about how we need to create peace in our hearts, the wilderness of our hearts, create that peace so that there is a space ready for Jesus when he comes. Now, finding peace, as we talked about, is something I think can be quite difficult. Um, and I think we often have to look for those little moments where we feel at peace. For me, um, I always feel really at peace when it gets just dark outside, which is happening a lot earlier now. Um, and I'll go outside and I can see here at the Briars, where I live normally, we're in a city and so I can't, but um, here at the Briars, I can see all the stars in the sky. And I always make sure to just look up as I'm walking across the courtyard here at the Briars. Um, and just look at the stars for a minute. And that for me is a moment of peace where I just feel really calm and relaxed. And that's my moment of peace where I get to this Advent, think about how Jesus is present in my life, think about how I can welcome him, how I can make that space for him. And so maybe now as we sit in the quiet just for a second, we think for a moment about a time when we feel at peace, a moment in our lives when we feel at peace. Maybe it's a particular place that helps you to find peace. Or maybe it's um, a song you listen to or something you do like a craft or an activity something that brings you peace and how can we use that thing to help us prepare for Jesus And so your mission this week is to try and find one moment of peace every day this week. Um, just to take, even if it's just five seconds, 10 seconds, just to be in the quiet, in the still, and to think about how we can prepare for Jesus, whether that's uh, as you cross over to bed at night and you see the stars in the sky, or whether it's as you're brushing your teeth in the morning and you're just by yourself. Find one moment of peace a day um, where you can prepare yourself when he comes at Christmas. Now we're going to end um, reminding ourselves that one person in this story didn't get a lot of peace at this time of year and that was probably Mary as she was preparing to have a baby. I imagine things were quite stressful for her and so I'll ask her to be with us today um, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we'll end in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So a reminder, your mission is to try and find one moment of peace each day this week, just so that we can connect and get ready for that Christmas day when Jesus is born. My name's been Sophie. The word of the week has been peace and this has been extraordinary. 
Thanks, everybody. Bye.